Let's talk about the stages of chronic kidney disease. We measure how well or how quickly the kidneys are able to filter blood using the glomerular filtration rate. A healthy kidney would have a high GFR, but as kidney function decreases, GFR does as well. There are five stages of chronic kidney disease, and they're all based on GFR. First, we have stage one. This is where the GFR is above 90. Here, the kidneys are damaged but still working well. Next is stage two. This is where GFR is 60 to 89. In this stage, you'll see a mild decrease in kidney function. Then we have stage three. Stage three is split into 3A and 3B. For 3A, the GFR is 45 to 59. And for 3B, it's 30 to 44. Here you'll see a moderate loss of kidney function. Next is stage four. In stage four, the GFR drops to the range of 15 to 29, and there's a severe decrease in kidney function. And last we have stage five. This is where the GFR is less than 15. This is kidney failure. These patients may need dialysis or even a kidney transplant. If you want more processes simplified like this, you can check out the anatomy and physiology navigator on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying.